Our sponsors over at Crestview Recovery are sharing ways to help us in recognizing signs of addiction and how we can get help for ourselves or family members and friends. Ashley sat down with Eric Pinkston, Crestview Recovery's lead residential counselor, and Ryan Ossall, the director of clinical outreach, to learn more. Eric, Ryan, mm -hmm. thank you so much for being here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love any time I'm, I'm talking to you guys and we get to dive deeper into more serious conversations and get all the information out to our viewers because that's what it's all about. So you have to tell me, what are some of the signs to drug and alcohol addiction? I think there's like signs that the family and friends and community members will see. And then there's also some of these internal signs. and. Those internal signs look like just like an increase in use over time. Uh, withdrawal symptoms for a lot of things like alcohol and opioids are pretty bad and significant and people start to experience those when they yeah. wake up in the morning or they haven't used for a while. There's things like dishonesty, craving, uh, a disengagement from social activities and social groups, things that were once pleasurable are no longer that pleasurable because mm. they just don't give the same reward that yeah. using does. There are things like if, if it's, a, it's a student, somebody's in school, maybe decreased school performance, somebody who's working, decreased work performance, isolation. And then also like the, the more emotional signs, hopelessness, maybe depression, anxiety, yeah. things like that to watch out for. So if, you know, I, I would hope that we are looking for these signs if we are troubled ourselves or if we are talking about a loved one. And if we are talking about someone in our lives that we love, should we trust our gut feeling and kind of speak up and speak out? In my experience, most cases, yes. If you think that there's something going on, um, in all likelihood there, there, there may be. At the very least, it's worth exploring. Um, it's worth reaching out to some pro professionals and asking some questions and seeing if mm -hmm. you can get some more information. How would you suggest that we do that? Because it can be a little sticky situation, kind of approaching someone you love and you care about, sure. and they're like, no, I don't have a problem. <laughs> but you, you, know, you never really uh, kind of know how to approach that. Mm -hmm. Are we going too hard on it? Are we not? Do you have any advice for anyone out there kind of trying to navigate that space? Yeah, I think if it's an individual who is starting to question whether or not they need help, going to a family member, going to a friend, going to a community member, going to somebody else maybe that they know that's entered recovery and been in recovery is absolutely a great place to start. And sometimes too, it's just searching the internet, picking up the phone, making that first phone call. Mm. Yeah, so what about when we are kind of talking about self-reflection? Self how do we kind of dissociate and take mm -hmm. that mirror and look at look at ourselves? Because that can be tricky mm -hmm. also, you know, not only being concerned about uh, a friend or a loved one, but also having the courage really to kind of look at ourselves and say, am I OK? What would you what would you suggest to someone that kind of is trying to to find the courage to do that? Because yeah. it is one of the most difficult things, I think, for somebody struggling with addiction who wants help but is just scared. Yeah. And maybe even in a little bit of denial, but asking themselves, like, is what I'm feeling, is what I'm thinking, is how I'm behaving, is this normal? And if the answer is no, what am I willing to do about it? Yeah. Okay. Before we go, I just want to have you guys tell everyone out there where they can go for more information. Uh, for more information, you can go to www.crestviewrecovery.com uh, or call us toll free at 866-913-0899. Thank you so much to both of you for thank being you. here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so much valuable information from that interview. Big thank you to our sponsors at Crestview Recovery. Please check out their website for more info.